10 Questions Atheists Can't Handle. Number 1. Why did you become an atheist? Was it because someone offended you? Because you wanted to sin? Or because of your pride? Number 2. How do you explain miracles? For example, can science explain how God helped my aunt live five months longer than the doctors thought she would before dying of cancer? Or how he gave my neighbors peace when their house burned down? Or was wise enough to say no when I prayed for a job because he obviously has something better in mind for me? How do you explain these things? Number 3. Why do you think you're so smart when the Bible clearly states that a fool says in his heart there is no God? Number 4. What's your objective moral standard if you don't believe in God? Without God, you have no basis for condemning rape, murder, and slavery. But as a Christian, I can confidently say that these things are wrong because God only commands them in parts of the Bible that I feel shouldn't count anymore because of context. Number 5. Why don't you believe in God if you believe in the wind? We can't see the wind, but we still know it's there because we observe the effects of it. So if the obvious side of things blowing around and the equally obvious feeling of moving air convince you the wind exists, then shouldn't the emotions you get during music and prayer convince you God exists? Number 6. Doesn't it take more faith to be an atheist than to be a Christian? I mean, how could you possibly have the blind faith needed to theorize based on observation that the universe expanded rapidly from a singularity, admitting you don't yet know why it all happened and where it all came from, while hoping to someday learn more through cautious methodical observation? Isn't it way more scientific to immediately conclude that an eternal bodiless consciousness you've never seen always existed outside time from eternity past, and then finally, after a certain amount of time, got lonely enough to speak the universe into existence and shape friends out of dirt? Number 7. What happens after you die? And doesn't the possibility that you're just gone after your body shuts down make you freak out due to an inability to cope with the finality of death? And shouldn't this fear compel you to become a Christian? Number 8. Without God, how is there justice? If there's no heaven or hell, then there's nobody to punish a child molester and accept his victim into heaven after death. Or depending on how things went, there's nobody to accept the child molester into heaven for praying afterward and punish the victim for not hearing about Jesus. Are you really okay with the idea of the molester, or his victim depending on which one became a Christian, escaping ultimate punishment? Number 9. What if you're wrong? If you're an atheist and you're wrong, you burn for eternity. But if I'm a Christian and I'm wrong, it doesn't matter. So it's better to be a Christian just to be safe. Aren't you glad I told you this? Because up till now, you were probably just wandering around with no idea the risk you were taking until someone finally told you about Pascal's wager. You're welcome, atheists. Number 10. Are you ready to say the sinner's prayer? This is a trick question, because after watching this video, I know you are.